Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now today's vehicle is a dirty 2014 Honda Civic that has some pretty bad salt stains and a whole lot of mud on the inside. So let's take a look around. All right, so starting with the exterior of this Civic and with a little bit of snow we got last week having melted now, there's a bit of slushy dirt stuck on the mud flaps and road spray all over the car, which means the carpeted wheel well liners are going to be full of dirt. And moving inside now, and besides the super dirty floor mats, it's obvious the inside hasn't been cleaned for a really long time, as there are some really bad salt stains in the carpets in both the driver's and the passenger footwells. The back seats have some pretty visible stains on them, and then the door and surrounding trim are covered in mud. But just before we jump into the detail, take a second and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I post a new video like this every week, so if you've got the bell on, you won't ever miss out on one. All right, well, you might have noticed from those opening shots that we've already got some snow on the ground and winter is fast approaching. So I'm looking forward to getting this Civic all cleaned up and ready for winter. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right guys, so getting started on the car here and seeing another Civic in the garage might give you some flashbacks of the other silver one I did just a little over a month ago. And if by chance you haven't seen that video yet, make sure you check it out as that was a pretty crazy transformation. But despite the carpeted wheel well liners I have to deal with on this car, it should be an enjoyable detail as Hondas are well built and easy to work on. Okay, moving to the back, and I figured I'd give you some background on the vehicle. So when the owner dropped it off, he was telling me that the vehicle was originally from Ontario and specifically an area where they salt the roads during winter frequently, which does explain all the salt stains inside, which I already know are going to be quite a bit more stubborn than what I usually have to deal with. Moving to the door jams, and I know I've seen a few people asking recently about whether I ever use any chemical on the jams, and the answer is yes. I do sometimes pre-treat with degreaser, but generally only when they are really bad and have caked on dirt, otherwise the pressure washer does the job perfectly.
Now, if you've ever wondered what I use in my foam cannon, it's Adam's Mega Foam, and I just add a couple ounces of it to the bottle, and then the rest is water, and it always gives me nice foam. So if you're curious, the link is down in the description for you. Moving to these dirty floor mats and after getting them quickly sprayed off, I'll use some all-purpose cleaner diluted 4 to 1, agitate with my green drill brush and then just blast them clean. Now getting the last of the personal items out of the trunk here and seeing that the owner is prepared for the upcoming winter with the snow brush is a good thing as I know I always seem to forget to put mine in my truck until it's too late but I had to smile when I saw the mini basketball as the owner is clearly a Toronto Raptors fan like any good Canadian should be and with it all removed I'll then quickly get the front seats out as it's definitely dirty enough in there for them to need to come out. Moving to the driver's footwell here, and if you're curious about the quality of this carpet, it's definitely on the cheaper end of things. Although despite that, 
It was actually really easy to vacuum, oddly enough, besides the couple of super dirty spots, of course, though I was able to get those looking a little better for now after hitting them with the drill brush. Now as I start on the seats, you might notice I'm using a different sprayer for my carpet solution and that's because the other one I had had sprung a leak on me so I upgraded it a little and I got a bit of a beefier one so if you want to check it out I've got the link to it in the description for you and making the first few passes here and you'll see there's a couple of small paint stains that didn't budge so I'll be sure to blast those with the steamer a little later on. Moving to the passenger seat and with some of my carpet solution sprayed on, I'll agitate with my Detail Geek soft white drill brush. And if you're wondering, yes, Detail Geek Auto Care has officially launched and went live earlier this week. And if you want to stay up to date on the new products that will be coming soon, be sure to follow Detail Geek Auto Care on Instagram, or you can sign up for the newsletter on the website.
moving inside to the smaller salt stain in the passenger footwell. And my strategy with these almost rock hard stains is to leave the solution on them a little longer than normal, which should soften it up a bit so the drill brush can be more effective on it. And making the first few passes here, and it's clear that strategy is going to work well as the salt is pretty well completely gone, though I did hit it one more time just to be sure I got it all. All right, moving to the driver's side now where the stains are even worse and given the difficult location of both of them, I'll be sure to spray on a liberal amount of solution and try to get it softened up before using the flat drill brush and the cone brush, which actually worked really well around the floor mat anchor point. But as you can see, the one near the gas pedal barely budged. So perseverance is key here and I'll just repeat the process until it's all gone and looking perfect. Here's all the nasty water pulled from the Civic. Gross. Now, as you guys know, I always recommend popping off the trim pieces by the doors as it only takes a second and makes them so much easier to clean. So using some APC and the steamer, it just takes a few seconds to do each of them. And if you're wondering what steamer I use, it's a McCulloch MC1375. And as a unit, I would highly recommend as if you've watched any of my videos, you'd know how incredibly well it works. So if you're in the market for a steamer, be sure to give the McCulloch a look. The link is in the description for you along with nearly every other product and tool that I use.
All right, with all the trim clean now, it's time to get it dressed and UV protected. And for that, I'm using my favorite product, and that's 303's Aerospace Protectant, which I apply in a nice, thin, even layer. And it's going to leave the whole interior with a nice matte finish that will last for weeks. Moving back outside and to boost the depth and gloss of this black paint, I'm using some Meguiar synthetic sealant and with a black foam finishing pad on my polisher, I'll add some sealant to my pad and do what's called priming my pad, making sure there's product right out to the edge, then I'll add a bit more before starting the first section. All right guys, and nine hours later, and the Civic is super clean and looking incredible. Now, if you guys enjoyed this transformation, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, enjoy the guitar outro, and I'll see you guys in the next one.